Hello there, what is going on everyone? Today we're going to be doing a Separatist Invasion build for Star Wars Legion. This is going to be the first Battle Force build that I'm doing for the Separatists. And uh, I always thought the Separatist Invasion initially was going to be more of a uh, Naboo Invasion. So that's what I'm going to base this list off of. I do often like thematic builds and uh, as a result I'm going to uh, kind of turn this one into... It's a thematic build that's kind of representative of, uh, of stuff that we see on Naboo. And also just kind of something that I, I kind of want to run anyway. Uh, and, and I think that's something that's kind of good about this particular one. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom right. I'm going to be using Tabletop Admiral today. And, uh, and I'm going to select Battle Forces down here. And that's going to let us select the Separatist Invasion. And of course, we can. It'll give us a little heads up of what's available, uh, what we're required to take, what we, uh, you know, what, what changes we see to the force organization chart. Um, one of the big changes is that we can have up to eight core, but we must have at least four. So we're gonna have lots of B ones in this list. Now, if I want to go with separatist stuff uh, that was present on the Battle of Naboo, that means I'm not gonna be using Grievous or Dooku. It means I'm not gonna be using Magna Guards means um, I'm not going to be uh, using any of those. Now, we do have everything else available. I'm not going to use all of it because I can't fit everything that I want to fit in this particular build. Uh, one of the things that's going to inhibit some of my costs is Maul. Um, you know, I think I think when you're if you're trying to do something like Naboo, like Naboo you're going to be looking at, do you use Maul or do you not use Maul? Because if I leave Maul out of this build and I keep it, uh, the, like, keep it a little bit more along the lines of the droids fighting the Gungans, I'll have a lot more room for droidicas and stap riders and maybe a second tank if I wanted to do something like that because we're going to have a tank. Uh, we definitely are. Um, if you guys are new here to the channel, we are still giving away a $25 Amazon gift card. We just recently did a lightsaber giveaway, uh, but now we're doing a $25 Amazon gift card. If you want to have a chance to win that, you just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. Also, check out Luxury Playstyle uh, sponsoring the video today. Be sure to check out LuxuryPlaystyle.com. Head over there and check out some of the amazing uh, Legion compatible tokens. These are double-sided tokens. They're gorgeous. You're going to really enjoy them. Uh, they're 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 heavy. They're shiny. They're beautiful. They're going to make you enjoy your game even more. And uh, use code Crabock VIP while you're there. That's going to save 15% off of your purchase order. So check out luxuryplaystyle.com. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and start putting this list together. I did say I wanted to use Maul again. You know I'm a big fan. Of Darth Maul and I love having him in uh, the Separatist build. Um, I kind of prefer, well in some ways I prefer this version of Maul because it's uh, it's kind of, uh, I don't know, I, I guess I have a little more freedom. Uh, I, I definitely like, I also am a big fan of the particular sculpt of this one and I kind of modded this one to have nunchucks. So I'm going to have Maul out here. I'm going to give him a lot of upgrades. I'm going to try to uh, try to make him actually work. Almost every time that I tend to run Maul, I I end up being a little too aggressive with him, and I get him killed, which can happen. I'm going to make a little change to my typical Maul as well. I'm going to give him Saber Throw, because with that double-bladed Saber, he's got four red dice that he gets to throw, uh, and with you know, Impact 2, Pierce 2, it makes for a fantastic ranged attack, especially with somebody who has, is going to end up having three, attack, or three actions. Um, it's going to be nice. And I'm going to give him Burst of Speed. For that turn where he decides he wants to spend two actions to move, he can completely cut across the whole battlefield. It's beautiful. And I love it. So with Burst of Speed in there, we're going to go ahead and go to uh, our training upgrades. Of, of course, I am going to give him Tenacity. I think uh, Tenacity is like one of those must-haves for Maul. It's going to give him five red and four white when he is in melee because he's almost always going to have that wound on him. And I'm going to give him a different one. Now, a lot of times I would do offensive push here, and I do think that that's a good option. But in this case, I'm going to try into the fray. I think for those times that Maul does pop burst of speed and ends up in the middle of a lot of stuff, he's going to be able to get a little bit of survivability uh, on the following turn with into the fray. I think into the fray might be worthwhile on him. I think it's a good option for Maul. Uh, I'm not sure if it's better than uh, than offensive push or not, but but that's what we're going to go with. So... All right, so that's going to do it for our Maul uh, build right now. We've got Saber Throw, Burst of Speed, Tenacity, and Into the Fray. Pretty heavy Maul build. I still do need a commander. So I'm going to put a T-Series Tactical Droid. Now, it's presumable that there was a T-Series Tactical Droid on the Battle of Naboo. We just didn't happen to see them. Um, 
or maybe they took the place of the uh, of the droid uplink. Maybe these guys came in, I believe, uh, you know, in the absence of the uh, Trade Federation's Lucre Hulk uh, command ships. And these guys kind of took over some of those functions. So that's kind of why he's here. He's, he's functioning as that Lucre Hulk uplink. Um, and I'm going to give him aggressive tactics. That's going to uh, work pretty well for this build. Because um, we're going to have a lot of B1s. We, uh, we are definitely going to have a lot of B1s. Uh, let's start off with... Uh, first off, I want to run a couple of uh, the the classic good ones. The E5C uh, B1 Troopers. It's three black dice. Kind of makes up for their terrible dice pool. And it's only 16 points. I mean, you really you can't beat it. Um, and then I'm going to add extra dice. I'm going to add the B, an extra B1 to those. I'm going to run three of those. Uh, that's going to give us a good, uh, a good stable shooting core of core, a core of our core. <laughs> and uh, but we're going to add some more things in that. We're going to um, again. We have to have at least four. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put another one in there. Uh, I'm going to put a another one in there. This one's going to be. Uh, I'm going to put a rocket launcher trooper in there. We've got impact two. We've got a red and two black. We've got a decent little dice pool in here, and maybe we just you know you never know when you're going to really need to go after you know uh, go after vehicles. So uh, this isn't this. It does exhaust, which is unfortunate, but uh, but it's 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 an option, right? Uh, and we're going to put that one in there. Uh, I'm also going to put a uh, a radiation. The radiation guy, there are our, our, our red red cannon trooper, uh, our range two poison counter. I love this particular unit. The poison counters are so so nasty. Um, so giving them the poison token it means that they're going to take a wound next time, unless they have some healing out there. <clears throat> That's just going to make them uh, extra extra deadly to uh, biological units, of which there are many. Uh, that gives us five B1 battle droids, which is a pretty good amount. And did I just accidentally erase that guy? I'm going to have to add him back in. There we go. All right, let's put him back in there. Rad Cannon, and there we go. All right, so we're at uh, we're looking at our uh, five core right now. I do want to add some Stap Riders. They are certainly thematic. Uh, they were swirling around the battlefield during the Battle of Naboo. But fortunately, I don't have to add any upgrades to the Stap Rider uh, in this case. And I'm going to add, of course, the battle tank, which is going to take us very, very close to our limit. We're going to put a couple of good things on this battle tank. Now, the battle tank, uh, I, I really like it. It's got the range 4 gun. It's got the range 2 gun. It's got arsenal 2. You don't have to have anything on there already, but I do like increasing its ability to, to shoot twice with its range. Um, it's just a fun thing. Again, you don't have to because you can always use barrage as well. But uh, I, what I really like is the high energy shells. Um, this one is particularly good if you find yourself going up against Jedi. Uh, it's also good against vehicles, decently decently good against vehicles. You have critical one, you also have critical two on the main gun and impact one. So you can have you can end up getting a shot that has a whole lot of crits in there uh, with the high energy shells. But uh, but since this shares high velocity is the same as your uh, MX8 artillery laser cannon. Uh, then you, you find that both weapons have high velocity, dodges can't be spent. This is not only good against Jedi, but it's also good against a lot of the new dodge meta that's been emerging. So I think this is something worth worth keeping in mind. So we're going to put the high energy shells on this one. I'm also going to put the uh, HQ uplink. This is one that uh, might find itself uh, doing a recover and then shooting again. And uh, if it doesn't want to wait for the cycling of the high energy shell. But not only that, HQ uplinks is just going to be good to get rid of AI attack. It's also going to be good on those turns where you're uh, getting your, your chain going and you have only Maul and the AAT uh, or Maul and the Stap kind of kind of ready to go, uh, kind of waiting in, in the pile. Uh, it's going to help you have better activation control. And so, there are certain cards uh, that we're going to be using for command cards that aren't going to allow you to give the AAT in order. So, now it's time for command cards. And the command cards is really, really fun. Uh, I'm going to start off with our, our three pips. Uh, I'm going to definitely use at last. I think this one, any build that has Maul, you've got to run at last. It's, bas it's a one pip for the price of a three pip. Gives him a free wound if you need it. And if not, he also gets Jedi Hunter. Um, but the, but the, the more important thing about this is, is it's an, it, it gives you the option to have three one pips in your build. Because it counts as adding a three pip. So I love at last. Um, and then it also happens to be good on this version of Maul because you can get that wound. 
And, and you know, you're probably thinking, why would you want a wound? Well, it's because, you know, Maul, Maul gets three actions while he's wounded. And he doesn't start out wounded unless you're in the Shadow Collective. He starts out wounded. So I'd rather have him not start out wounded so I can kind of choose. Because sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes there's some eager snipers out there that want to take hot shots at Maul. I'm like, go ahead. Go ahead. Get a, get a wound on him. I dare you. I double dare you. All right. So, um, so we've got at last, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to go with Unstoppable Advance. As our uh, as our other three pip, um, giving people a free speed one move is going to be really nice. It's going to give three uh, core units uh, a move and they're uh, an, an order, and they're going to be able to issue a uh, create a move as well. This one is also going to be really good for those rad cannons getting to move a little bit closer. It's going to be pretty cool. So I like that one. Uh, we did skip over Roger. Roger, you know this one's not terrible. It's it's, it's very very similar, right? Three droid troopers. Uh, it's it's it does mean that you can give this one to your commander instead. But I, since I already have aggressive tactics, I don't know if we're going to really need the extra surge tokens that this one gives out. I'm not 100% sure on that, so I feel Unstoppable Advance is going to be a little more of a guarantee of something that's going to be good. Uh, now, as we move into our two pips, uh, we're going to be looking at... Um, I like Unrelenting Assault here. This one uh, gives out free aim tokens. And it's two core units. Again, like I was talking about, this is one of the reasons I wanted HQ uplink on the AAT. I didn't want it to get hit with that AI attack. I wanted it to be able to aim an attack or recover an attack or do things like that. And so uh, Unrelenting Assault is going to let us do some uh, some pretty groovy stuff uh, with, 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 the, with the droid troopers. And uh, so my two little guys... Uh, they get to do that aim token, and then all of a sudden we get more aim tokens. And, uh, you know, so this was good. It is any friendly core unit that performs a ranged attack. So if you want, this is really good for that time where you're where after you, maybe you've moved everybody up with Unstoppable Advance. You want all those B1s to fire, and then, uh, and it's a friendly unit. You can gain the aim token. So a lot of these guys, you could potentially have, um, you know, your B1s passing aim tokens over to like Maul and or your battle tank as well which is a very, very fun way to run this one. So I like this card. Um, again, you know, these Separatist Invasion cards are, are cool. They're not, like, amazingly cool, but they're kind of cool. Uh, I, they're not enough to make me want to build a Separatist Invasion Force just because of these cards, but since this is a thematic build already that I kind of like, uh, I'll, I'll take them. You know, they're like a little, a, little, a slight nod, you know, to me. Um now, as far as uh, two pips, uh, we have we have a two pip from Maul. Also, I'm not going to use this one. Um, I kind of think that this one works a little better if you got your Sith probe droid. Also, if the Sith probe droids are in your on, in your build and you're able to deploy them with Maul, kind of doing the infiltrate option, so you can have two units kind of out there in the middle of nowhere. And since he, the the droids aren't available in this particular battle force, I think I'm going to lean away from this one. A little bit. Um, it's it's my least favorite Maul card, and so I, you know, it's it's situationally useful, but I'd rather go with something that's going to be more useful. And this one, I kind of like the the classic orbital strike. Um, this isn't going to work for my T1 series. He's going to get that nice range four super attack there, uh, and also immune to deflect. So we do have some. We definitely have a couple of answers for Jedi in this list. Uh, <laughs> we definitely do. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go with orbital strike. It's a fun one. All right, next up, uh, we're going to our one pips. Now, uh, first and foremost, we are going with Duel of the Fates. It's a great one for Maul. It's great if he does find himself needing to disengage or if he finds himself kind of going in for the kill against some heavily tokened up Jedi. This is going to let him really take out Obi-Wan when he does his hello there or anything like that. So I like Duel of the Fates. Um, and again, it's another one pip for Maul. Maul really needs the orders in this one sometimes uh, since you're... Since your T-Series can kind of start that whole activation chain, uh, and then your AAT has the, uh, um, the HQ uplink. Uh, for our other one pip, pip we've got uh, Ambush as an option, Mechanized Incursion, and AI Coordination. Uh, for this one, we are going to go with AI Coordination because of the, uh, the fantastic standby. Um, gotta love standbys, right? 
Um, and uh, yeah, so that's that's gonna do it for this build. Uh, I want to hear what you guys think down in the comment section, and I'll put a link to it down there. So be sure to check out Tabletop Admiral and build yourself some awesome lists, and uh, and share with me your thoughts. I will talk to you guys later. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Big thanks to my patrons. You guys are fantastic and help make this channel possible. So thank you for your continued support. I will talk to you later. May the force be with you, and goodbye there.